this in our pants yet? Hello everybody! Just restarting this thing real quick here. Here, check these out. These are our promos for this week. We got these two uh, action figures from Eagle Moss Collection. So just wanted to give them a quick shout out. Uh, we're just reloading the stream right here. They're really nice figures, and uh, yeah, I'll put a link down below for you guys. And, uh, Here's our two screen experience. But this is an advertisement, so not really. Burn to the Badlands. They inserted this before The Walking Dead. It does a bad show. I can, I can cut anything I need to do. Anything I need to. Oh no. Come on, work, please. Please work. Please work. Don't do this to me. We didn't have many interruptions last week, but. Walking Dead. Saying a bullet ain't gonna do it. Make me a bullet. Somebody has to pay the price. What is this? This little bad boy made from scratch. Can we just like you tell me? go over the fact that Rosie was able to hit a baseball bat with a bullet and the bat didn't shatter? Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Well, the thing, the problem with it is that I don't know. It was like <laughs> it was a bullet that Negan made, or not? No. Negan, not Negan. Eugene made. What the hell am I talking about? Oh, hey, Fat Joe. He's dead. Hey, God. Oh, we actually get to see the violence because we didn't get to see that last time. Sorry, I was just working with the TV. <coughs> There's no signal. No. That's because I have an on HDMI. <coughs> My God! <laughs> run, 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 run. I didn't flush the toilet. Negan's gonna be pissed. <laughs> Shit! Did I leave the oven on. <laughs> fuck, fuck, so fuck. this is right after their supply run, Alexandria. Yeah. Right after he captured. Uh, is your is your phone Wi-Fi on? I can turn it. We just found out Daryl's gone. It's his up. Poor Eugene. Come on, Ferdy, go. Welcome home. Ah, he wrecked his room. This is yeah, and he took off his thing. Isn't it? Does he have like some like pimp house or something? I'm not sure. We'll find out. The music just like stopped in the climax. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. It just gets oh wow. Down. Well, I mean, he's an engineer, so they want him to have. Yeah, they want him to help, so you can't yeah. make him feel uncomfortable. You can get the microwave. Here's some bed sheets. And all, honestly, that's better than he had in Alexandria. They took all their right. beds. <laughs> right. Huh. Ooh, it's a video game system on there. 
something Gramps notices. It's more the library. <laughs> a lot more. You, uh, you got the library. Your friend Daryl didn't get a chance to see it before he bounced. He well, escaped. Yeah. You know where he is? No. I'll oh. tell you if I did. Wait a minute. On the end. McIntyre, this would be the best factor. You hungry? I'll get you something. What do you want? What do I want? Yeah, to eat. What do you want? Anything? Sure, whatever. Really, anything I want. Dude, yes. You can have anything. What do you want? Can I have lobster? No, you can't have lobster. What the hell do you think this is? <laughs> lobster and tomato sauce. Do you want orangey or red? Orangey. All right. Lobster. <laughs> what about pickles? I, I like pickles. We're out of pickles. What about potato chips? We got chips. Number 42 makes them. Number 42 is a coding system for persons here. For the workers, yeah. It makes head chips fresh. Yeah, they got a kettle. No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be back in time. What the fuck is that? They got potato chips. So the whole explanation. I don't want them. You can lock the door? You can. What the hell? He gets anything he wants? Uh. <laughs> Mix. Oh. oh, it's stocked with beer! And random vegetables. And vegetables and fruit. And ketchup and mustard. Oh my god. And eggs. Damn. Like, does he think this is like a trap or some trick or some shit? Probably. Oh no! What a treat when you're on easy street and we're breaking up a good champagne. Sitting easy on the okay. Jesus, I knew they were gonna bring that back. Will I get a copyright strike for it? Probably. <laughs> I can't remember what song I was trying to fight the last time. You are fucked. You know why I think he's looking at that in shock? My theory was that Sherry was the one who... Oh! He's... I think he's gonna get the other eye ironed. Dude, I... Okay, I think... I think that, um... Sherry was the one who let him escape in the first place. They wanted you to think it was Jesus. Yeah, true. I think no, it was I Sherry. Think it was so I think he saw her handwriting and he's like, oh, fuck, fuck us. So this episode will only be the sanctuary, but yeah. still, I mean, I wanted These to... These are the best ones. I wanted to, I mean, yeah, Negan's dialogue is hilarious, and you got Eugene acting like a goof, but, and, um, I also had a whole bunch of theories about Dwight in my past vlog, so I'm, uh, I swear to God, Eugene that. is me. Until they all come out. What the hell? Where's Dwight? That is Dwight, I think. Oh, is he in Daryl's old Darryl cell? Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm on this. Is it just as cozy as you remember? He spent a lot of time on the wrong side of the door after that stupid road trip with the wife and Tina. So yep. let's talk about now. We went out looking for your little failed project for a few hours, just to ran the perimeter, tip to taint, as it were. Right about the time I had you thrown in here, and when I got back, I realized I was short. A wife. Wait, what? Which one? Sherry. Sherry left too? Know anything about that, Dwighty boy? Because I gotta tell you, that is one hell of a coincidence. Her leaving just a few short hours after Daryl took off. Oh, and he didn't force his way out. Now. Somebody opened the door for her. Wow. It wasn't Sherry. He's gonna cover her ass. She'd die otherwise. I know. He's gonna, he's gonna call himself. 
Was it you? Did it work the other way around? You were supposed to break him. Did he break you? I mean, let's face it. You've got some pretty legitimate grievances. Huh. You change your stripes on me, Dwighty. You start to see things different. Wow. After all this, before and after, hell, after everything, who are you, Dwight? Is he going to say he's Negan? I'm Negan. Yep. So he's still loyal for now. I don't know where to get that bullet belt. I looked for hours the last summer. <laughs> My Negan cosplay. I can't find it. Daryl isn't like you. He's emotional. So he's either on his way home or he's coming back here to try to kill some more of us. Mostly you and me. Hmm. Either way. Oh my god. The next time so, <laughs> I'm making it Daryl see you. You think other. you know where Sherry went? Yeah. Bring her back. Sort it out. Who's that in the background? Doctor. Doctor Carson. Stitch him up. Fix what you can fix. You don't think she did it? You think she did? I got to know her a little bit. Not well. Well enough to know what happened. She saw Daryl in here in the state he was in. She let him go. She was soft. She has a big heart. You were just beaten and thrown in a cell. Unfairly, if you ask me. And you're back to it. And you wind up running an outpost for it. You get it. I like to think that I do. Not like the satellite dish outpost that blew up last fucking season. You remember that guy last year? selfless, tender soul who would marry Negan to save her husband's life. Wow. It's exactly the kind of person who really isn't expected to be around anymore. Talks like he took like he took like four of them. Just trying to help. <laughs> you don't gotta take my lollipop, you douche. Fuck <laughs> the fucking door. Are there any more clues that Daryl left for behind for him? Fish. That's good. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, is that where he hides his cigarettes? Yup. Looks like there's something else in there. Yeah. That's like some Breaking Bad level shit, like hiding stuff in cigarette packs. Damn. Who hasn't cleaned up the fat Joey explosion? <laughs> no, oh shit, I forgot. That's nobody, the blood from fat yeah, Joey. Yeah, nobody, nobody cleaned it up. <laughs> oh, that's the cool. Most of people make stuff, you know, people scavenge. Beer, bread, cut your head. Cut your what? Armor. Might be able to kill that thing in your head. <laughs> I like how the girl who, fl who flirted with Spencer is now giving him a tour. 
You're one of us now, not them. They ate shit, we ate good. Right where you took, what they did, how much it was worth, sign your name. That's it. Hey. Oh, did she just steal? Must yeah. be your lucky day haircut. Are they tell me? Yeah. Some good DIY stuff there. What's well, the nuts? Peanuts. That was in one of the promo images. All right, so I know that's from now. You want something? You take a haircut. Why is, his, why is his nickname Haircut? Because he's gonna fucking mullet. He needs a haircut. There he is. Man of the hour. Come on over here, big fella. Oh, pickles! <laughs> he's looking at him like, what the shit? Don't be rude, asshole. Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello, come on. You got a name, asshole? Eugene. Eugene? Whoops. I know you remember Lucille. You see that? You might have to get real close. That, my friend, is the bullet you made. Now, under normal, answer the question. I, I have indeed a smart of pants. I smart taught myself to cast the bullets. I found a, I found a, a machine shop with the necessary I, I read a lot, and, um, Although my, you know, my memory is not considered eidetic, <laughs> I don't scam and I don't scrimp, and the knowledge just dropped the doing deep, pick it up. It's just like this. <laughs> oh, you really are just some asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Why'd you disagree? I have PhDs in biochemistry, as well as immunology and microbiology, and I've completed my doctorate, which makes me a doctor. <laughs> Prior to the collapse, I was part of a 10-person team at the Human Genome Project, working under Dr. T. Brooks Ellis to weaponize diseases to fight weaponized diseases. Fire with the, you know, fire. We'll see interdepartmental drinks. We're this is the lie he told. Ew! Uh -huh. That sucks, he's still alive. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I can this without breaking a sweat. You see, I have a lot of free labor here at the fence. Living dead pricks that help keep the riffraff out. Problem is, they don't keep, they fall apart. Like that poor sack of pile of shit there. So, Dr. Smart Pants, how do we keep them on their feet? <laughs> they were just standing there. He used the... You, um, smelt on the rigs, correct? I saw that among the legacy equipment on the floor that you possess an operational smelter. And? You already possess the means to resolve your issue. Step one, melt down scrap metal. Step two, pour it over the compromised walker as they are in contact with the chain link. The liquid metal will harden, both maintaining bodily integrity for the walker as well as affixing them to the fence. Bonus points for covering their head and protecting them from head trauma from hostiles and calamities. That's the name of the episode. Huh, that was actually pretty smart. God damn, if that ain't the coolest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Not only is that practical, it's just badass. Look at you, Dr. Smarty Pants. He keeps calling him Dr. Smarty Pants. 
of the group. can't be doing this kind of valuable stuff for him. Oh. His loss. Our game. Okay. I feel like I need to be some kind of signing bonus here. <laughs> well, I was, I was gifted these pickles. <laughs> As a token of my gratitude, I'm going to send you over a few of my wives to your apartment tonight and show you a good time. Oh. Now, I don't think I have to worry about this, but who knows how truly smart you are. No sense. That is a grave no-no. However, you can have a little dinner, some drinks, share a few laughs. There is nothing like beautiful women that smell good to make you feel human again. I, I wouldn't know anything about that. Did, did you say wives mean in plural? Hell, yes I did. <laughs> what does Dr. Smarty Pants say to his new bestest friend in the whole wide world? <laughs> Dr. Smarty Pants. What does he say? Thank you. Hold it completely. Sincerely, seriously. Thank you. Okay. Why don't you go have some fun? I can't. He used the. Remember the lie that he said he could, <coughs> he could stop the zombie outbreak? He, yeah. he said He's that. Used the same lie. Yeah. yeah. I was like, wow, what a fucking throwback, man. But I mean, that's the one thing that's going to save him. Yeah, he had that smile. Did you see the smirk? Problems nice. can be a good thing because they force us to find solutions that might take us to a more amazing place. It's Dr. Smarty Pants. Wait, what's he doing? What the hell am I even looking Playing at? Playing a video game. The insect like creature is called a Yor. It is attempting to exact revenge upon the evil quota for the destruction of Rezac. This is basically our suite. <laughs> this is basically our fucking suite. Maybe you should take it easy, Amber. Maybe I shouldn't, Frankie. Well, we could play something else. Warlords? It's four player, quite the hoot. Whatever you want. This is your night. Oh. Do you want a massage? Ooh. You get lots of And I was a licensed therapist. Yeah. Before. Just <laughs> 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 oh, hello. Your commitment to your assigned objective. I'm fully aware that none of you ladies are here this evening of your own volition. Video games are all about me showing all of you a fun time. Would you care for more microwave popcorn? Hey, just because this was Negan's idea doesn't mean that we don't want to be here. I'd be down with just having an intelligent conversation. Well, I suppose a conversation would be acceptable under the current circumstance. What would you like to talk about? Uh, how about the Human Genome Project? I could talk about that shit all night. In truth, the bulk of my work for the HGP fell under the auspices of the Black Box Program, in which I'm not at liberty to discuss. In all likelihood, even if I could, he'd probably escape your comprehension. So you just insult us, can't you? It was not a diss, it was simply a statement of fact. My intelligence has been objectively measured. I am fully a man apart. So what, are you like one of those guys who can make a bomb out of bleach and a toothpick or something? Of course not. I would at least require dry yeast, hydrogen peroxide, and a small amount of liquid dish soap, maybe some you know, bathroom or drink. What is he talking about? Balloons or something about? like that. Few other common household sundries. These girls are just like what? Seriously? Serious as sepsis. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, that redhead's like fucking egret levels. Jesus. Jesus Christ. You look at a bomb. <laughs> they wanted to see an ex science experiment. This is what they get. Stupid. I'm hoping they illustrate the opposite. Just slaves. Excuse me? 
Whatever. This fucking blonde girl's gonna get it. She's she's been downing champagne. What am I watching? Eugene, did you just make helium out of toilet stuff? Hydrogen. Uh, Make helium out of toilet stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's cool, Kino. We're good. Kino. Okay. Relax. You're one of us. I, it's from seeing your best friend be killed by these people to fucking. I should disclose in advance I may have oversold this one by classifying it as a bond. As a hydrogen peroxide decomposes, the reaction will release energy in the form of heat. Dr. Eugene, can you please just show us some good shit? <laughs> <laughs> I'll know all the viewers at home how to make a bomb. <laughs> yeah, this is like a step by step tutorial. I'm gonna light this candle. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm gonna light this candle. <laughs> no, like, I really mean I'm gonna light it. I don't know what the balloons are for. Oh, uh, I think. <laughs> What's he fucking saying? <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. Like, ha, 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 ha. I actually seen that experiment before. Yeah. Come on, cheer up, Eugene. Jesus. That was actually pretty cool. I'd have a fucking, have a fucking full size erection fight someone like that around my arms. <laughs> Let's continue watching. <laughs> I was like, is that Carol's house? No, there's no gravestones outside. No, no, I know, and it doesn't look this. There were a lot of people predicting that in the promo, isn't there? Oh, she's going to find his wife. Oh, maybe this is their old house. Yeah. We always said that if we got separated, I should come back here and wait for you. You'd show up with beer and pretzels. You remember that? I know. You probably don't. You always said that when we started dating, you forgot to tell me you had a shitty memory. You used to get so frustrated by it. Knowing you wouldn't remember those good days. Those special days. What does this say? Oh, matching handwriting. Yep, that's what I was saying. I felt bad for you. I remember you said there was so much you wanted to hold on to. And then it'd be gone. But you're lucky you don't remember things, T. I wish I could wait for you now. But I don't know if you'd come with me. Or if you'd take me back there. Or you'd kill me. Oh. You didn't want to live in that world. And I made you. Wow. Well, I did what I did because I This is why he snaps. Right. But now you've killed. And you've become everything you didn't want to be. And it's my fault. You are better than me. Most people are. I let Daryl go because he reminded you of who you used to be. And I wanted to let you forget. Wow. I don't think I'm gonna make it out here. But you're wrong. Being there isn't better than being dead. It's worse. I hope you realize that. I hope you get away. I hope you remember the good days. Even just one of them, but I don't think you will. I don't think you'll ever read this. 
I loved who you were. I'm sorry I made you into who you are. Goodbye. Honey. You know what sucks? At the... Remember when they were going to go back with Daryl? Yeah. And then they were too scared and they took his... They were so close to having that kind of life. They were like, this fucking close. The rice and cigarette. Not really. Or is that his last cigarette? It's the last one. Oh, he had his wedding ring in there. Oh. That's the engagement wedding end. What the hell is he gonna do? That's the pretzels of beer. Huh. Interesting. What the hell? He's still playing games. We can hear the yards in the quote I Eugene. I was given to understand the last night's shooting was supposed to be a singular incident. He didn't tell us. We need your help. Ooh. You saw Amber last night. She just drinks and cries. Oh yeah, because of what happened to Mark. She didn't want this. We signed up for it. It's better for us. She had to. Her mom needed meds. She can't work. Amber thought that she could live with it. She can't. She asked us to help her end it. We weren't afforded any mental health services. <laughs> no. Are you serious? I mean, there's a licensed masseuse here. That's being what they are. There's no one like that here. They're living under Negan's fucking rule. So this is it. She just wants to take something. She wants to go to sleep. And not wake up. That would be wildly irresponsible. She dies at night in her sleep. She turns while everyone is asleep. We'll handle that part. We were hoping that you could make something for her. Because we know that you can make things. A poison to I know, kill her? I crazy yeah. and you barely know us. But we can tell that you are a good man. There aren't many of those left. Truth of the matter is, I'm not good. I'm not lawful, neutral, or chaotic. None of the above. Are you saying you can't do it? Lack of ability is not the problem here. He just doesn't want to carry rig a lethal toxin. To, to, Assets at hand here, no problem. I have help the... us. A pill, a shot, whatever. We need to with him. Because we don't know we can get our chance. She's gonna do it. With or without us. She'll suffer. Maybe someone else will get hurt. You are good, Eugene. Just, I mean... You have he just got this, like, fucking luxury penthouse lifestyle, and now he has to... <sighs> How much does she weigh? Don't know, maybe 120. Why? If you could give me her exact weight, I could guarantee a semi-precise T.O. pain-free D. ASAP. Negan just lost one wife, now he's gonna lose another. <laughs> oh my god. It's a bit this by a bit. This is like end well. Wow! That was good! I like that. That was cool. Take a look at this my mouse. Trophies. Best cracked pepper sauce. Most ribs eaten. Where am I? 
Oh, this place. I love this place now. I was eating, like, wine for food. Best I can do for now. Come back later. We're playing poker with some guys. I'll try to hook you up. You kidding? Can't play poker. I gotta be out digging pulse holes at the crack of dawn tomorrow. I would like to save a blister pack in your most extra strength cold capsule. Hey. The line's a line. What, they don't have them where you come from? You don't know how they work? No, I'm familiar. Get in it, prick. Is he gonna like stand up for himself or something? What is your number? What's yours? 16. Alright, number 16. My name is Dr. Eugene Porter. I've recently been appointed to the newly created Postal Chief Engineer of this facility. I report directly to Negan, which means you report directly to my ass. Oh. 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 The cold capsules now. I don't know. We just... We get so many new faces, I didn't... Jesus. Wow. See? You just stood up. Leverage! A little bit of leverage. I want this too. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's a toilet seat and it flies water and a turtle. What you call this? I'm gonna call it a grimly gun. A grimly gun? <laughs> what? What is this? Just uh... okay. Did you find her? Oh, yeah. Where is she? I killed her. No, wait, what? No. She ran away from me right into a mess of dead ones, so I, uh, made it quick. Hmm. Why is this him like, it still hurts. Crying about it. I with the bandage. I wasn't talking about that. I wouldn't tell you to just forget about her, but. I haven't seen anyone else doing that any time soon, considering what she did. Well, we've all done things. Yes, but before we got here, before we understood, we were cowards about it. <laughs> we, don't, we don't get to have big hearts. He's just staring forward, he's thinking about something. Remember that. You'll find out. Oh, this is the scene. This is the iron scene. Yep. Who's doing it? Who's getting it? ironed? Not Dwight. System. Rise. <laughs> Is it the wise? No. You are going to want to pay close attention to this. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. Oh, wow. <laughs> I 
Dude! Wow, Dwight's a dick. You left the door open and let my puppy out. You knew Sherry hated Daryl being here. So you let him out for her be the hero, then you could move in. That is some weasley shit right there. Oh, but I didn't. She's the one who ran. Uh, she ran? You know why she ran? Because she knew I would blame her, which I did. But see, Sherry told Whitey Boy the whole story right before she was torn apart. A super hot girl, horrifically killed because of your greedy, delusional, tiny little step to Dwight. He's like, what? Why? Why would he do that? Why would he intentionally try to hurt you? Sherry's gone. And if he's lying, and she's out there, I will find her. And then I will burn the other side of his face off until he dies. So, what's he gonna get out of this? But he did lie. No. Oh. No. That's set up. See, I know my Dwighty boy. See, all he needed was one more night in the hole. Get his head screwed on straight. Work before, work now. Ain't that right, White? Oh, yeah. This is fucked. You know, I was gonna like his redemption arc, but not. I would, how are you gonna make us like him after this? Stop today, right? Please, 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 please don't cease to don't hurt me, please. Please. No. No, please. Now you know I hate this shit. Just let me admit it. Now you're sorry. I don't have to do this. Yeah. Yes, I did. Oh. Sorry. I'm so sorry. He's still gonna do it. So horrible. Yeah, but he lied. That's all you had to say. You guys are gonna kill him. That is all you had to say. Oh my god. A fucking psychopath. That's a little hot there. You didn't even burn him. Well, he, <laughs> his... he did burn him. That's well, no, that's, what I, well, that's <laughs> not what I meant. I, I, fuck. Um, <laughs> like, I meant his face, like with the iron. Good thing we got a spare Dr. Carson. I trust you, buddy boy. I never should have doubted you. Oh my god. Jerry was one of my favorites. I'm sorry. I'm not. Why? Nice. Cool. Love him. Wow. Oh my god, dude. Look at this, like, half his body's burnt. Dude, that is so fucked. Hey guys. That is so oh. fucked. What the hell? They made the discovery of a lifetime when the pink light in Mars. I don't want to talk to anybody. Because he saw what just happened. 
Hera's counting on us. We told her that you were going to help us, and she Pump says that she... Do not insult my intelligence, Frankie. Said pills aren't for Amber, said pills are for Negan. That's why he wanted to. Huh. Oh. Didn't he kill your friends? Several. But I imagine we killed about 30 or so of his. Turnabout and all that. Give us the pills or we'll tell Negan about it. We'll tell him that it was your idea to make them and that you tried to get us to help. It would be a tactical error on your part. He'll believe me over you for the same reason he believed Dwight over the doctor. Huh. Irreplaceable to him. I have to imagine Eugene's uh, the playing hand, for. Uh, You're a coward. You're a coward. That is a correct assessment. game where have I seen that before? <laughs> he's got a jar of pickles and that weird thing. <laughs> I doubt he's turned against the survivors. This is just a show because he's in enemy territory. I'm not I'm not gonna buy that he's turned against Rick. Oh why would he oh, I think we know who that is. Fuck it, it's 10 05. Yeah, we have a few minutes left. Don't lose it. I've come for your pickle. <laughs> Boom, my pickle's back. <laughs> Jeez, that glare, oh my god, that's scary. Abraham and Glenn, yes. <laughs> so how are you liking it here? Are we doing right by Dr. Smarty Pants? <laughs> you know, Frankie and Tanya, nothing but good things to say about you. Except James to get on the right team. But I need you to understand something. I do not make this invitation to everyone. And I sure as shit <laughs> do not make it lightly. Hey. He's gonna hey. ask I think he's gonna ask them the question. You do not need to be scared anymore. You don't need to be scared. You just have to answer me one question. Yep, I knew it. It's a big one. Who are you? Negan. Whoa, I was closing him. Completely. Stone cold Negan. I was Negan before I even met you. I just needed to meet you properly to know. Huh? I'm Negan. Hey, be careful with that. Wow. Do you want to get burned by molten metal? Because that's exactly how you get burned by molten metal. What the fuck is this thing in his pocket? No, no, it's only the fucking pickle. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not buying your fucking tough guy look, Eugene. You're still a goofball in my eyes. Oh. Regarding me clamping down, yeah, boy. Yeah. I am. Just like you. Don't know if you recall my hand. Yeah, Eugene. You're Dwight. Oh yeah, but his balls. Yeah. 
Huh? I didn't get any. Oh, I'm dead. I didn't get any. Just a little more, okay? We're gonna show you more guns, more people, more time. I can't just wait. My God. Looks like it's gonna be some sort of Rick and Michonne happy adventure, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Look at Dean This wasn't fun. Tonight we basically saw Eugene's version of Science uh, Sleepaway. Uh, it was blah, a good time. You played Yars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Chris Hardwick has the expert fucking crackdown uh, information on the episode. Uh, okay. <laughs> so um. So I guess I, I I had put this in a vlog earlier this week asking if you thought if my fans thought Dwight would betray Negan. Um, we got some semblance maybe of it. That last shot of Dwight right there, I almost thought for a minute Dwight was gonna make an offer to Eugene like, hey, you want me to bust you out of here and we can just leave? Yeah. I almost thought that was gonna happen. It didn't happen, but um, I either thought that or that Dwight was gonna punch. Um, Eugene. Why? Why attack him again? Why? <laughs> well, Eugene bit Dwight's nutsack. Well, no, but yeah, but Eugene has... I'd say at this point, Eugene has a higher position than fucking Dwight. Dwight's in the dog pen after letting Daryl go, and after that whole fiasco, so... True. I feel like Eugene's got a higher fucking position than Dwight at this point. And no, true. It, it's such a juxtaposition to Daryl's visit. When Daryl was imprisoned... He was completely against everything. He was fucking thrown in a cell, felt fed dog food. Yeah. He tried to escape but with beaten. He asked, who are you? And he said, Daryl and not Negan. True. This was the opposite. Eugene was given a fucking penthouse, yeah. video games, girls, and all this, <laughs> anything. And, you know, any, even someone who's not in the fucking apocalypse could ask for it. And no, true. Yeah, exactly. I still like the how when he played the boombox, it was the same song. Like a little flashback to it. Right. Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> it's like not letting us forget that easy street, no matter how much we hate it. Oh, so, um, that Carson death, man, was so goddamn intense. That was... Like, they, they make you think they're going to iron the face, but he just throws him in the furnace. I was like, oh, shit. That's like... <laughs> fuck, fuck his face. Let's burn his whole body. That's, that's fucking brutal as shit. Oh my god, you could see like half his body on fire in the fight. I was like, Jesus. I was like, of all people to blame, like, fucking, you know, doctors are essential, but I mean, jeez. Oh my that god. Was, so, that was wild. That was just weird. So we know that Sherry let Daryl go. That was confirmed in this episode. I had I had that prediction because I thought I her, I recognized like the clacking of her high heel shoes on the fucking thing when she slipped the key under. They Again, they tricked us and made us think that it was Jesus um, when it actually wasn't. Yeah. Um, so. So yeah, that happened. But um, overall, what do you think? Rating one to ten. What do you what do you think you'll give this episode? I'll give that an eight point five to a nine. Yeah, I'll I'll stick with eight point five. I mean, the thing is, nothing plot wise really was driven forward because yeah. this 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 took place somewhat before the events of the first episode nine and ten because they had Simon go to Alexandria looking for Daryl. So we kind of we we knew after the fact that they had they figured it out. Yeah. So. This was see it was showing you like what happened after that, so No, that's true. Yeah, um So yeah, I think eight point five for me. Good episode. Um mm. I, there was no definitive answer as to what Dwight's future is, but I think it's it's leading down that path. Sherry's gone yeah. and I can't imagine Dwight's gonna leave her out in the wild for too long. Yeah, I can't it's, but I either feel like there's two ways it can go. Either Dwight's going to escape, find Sherry, join Rick, or Negan's going to find Sherry, kill Dwight. <laughs> I don't think... That... I think there's two paths it can take. I can't imagine that's how Dwight will go. I want to know where Sherry went. Like, all right, maybe too. maybe she's hovering around that house, but where... And you saw he gave her the pretzels and the, you know, the, the, the beer. beer. So is that something, him saying, like, maybe I'll come out and later and find you? Like, I... Well, I think that was just to show her that he remembered, because that's what he said in the way past. And remember her always saying in the note, like, "Oh, you'll know you don't remember these times. Like you have really bad memory issues." Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like it showed that he actually knew. Right. So. Yeah, I, that was a good note. I mean, it was a lot of information. I mean, it makes you feel for Dwight, but I, I man, that was conflicting at the end, dude. He sold out that fucking doctor, but at the same time, he had to make an excuse. Yeah, true. Because you know, he could. What else was he gonna say? Who else was he gonna blame it on? Like, like that was his, 
last fucking resort. And we also had a moment where Negan's like, oh, if he is lying, then you know, I'm going to kill him gonna too. Be, he's going to pay. So. so really, either way, Dwight's screwed. It was a lose yeah. lose. Yeah, we'll have to see. And uh, again, I can't imagine Eugene is totally on Negan's side. I, I feel like this is. Oh all, no, 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 no! This is all a ruse. There's you. Eugene just tried. And you know to why? Die. Remember the smile. Remember at the the when he's first talking to Negan, he first calls him Smarty Pants. Like Eugene kind of has that smile, kind of like the same smile Rick had when he found that scavenger group because yeah. he knew that there were numbers. Eugene knows that he can use his bolt. All the bullshit stuff he he tried to trick Abraham in the original group with. He's gonna like. Do that in a different form for Negan, so that's that's, that's yeah, my no. prediction. So. Yeah, so yeah, he can. Use I think his... I think literally Eugene just did that so he wouldn't die. Yeah, because it was Negan asking. Yeah, he can't else. make bullets for Negan because that's directly going against Rick. But you know, I mean, he'll find ways to fuck him over. So he'll probably make the bulls, but forget to put the gunpowder on them, so that way they're just like useless capsules. Yep. So all right, guys. Um, it'll be a semi different location next week, um, but we'll. Uh, I won't be here. She won't be here. Yes, um, Pete and Jack are uh, currently away. Jack's missed two weeks. This is the longest streak of Jack not being in the reactions. But uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll, we'll most likely, I'll most likely get him back for next week. I didn't see anything too, like, interesting, interesting about next week's episode. I mean, Rick, Rick and Michonne scavenging at a carnival and Rosita going somewhere. I don't know where. Maybe she'll try to go to the... Ocean side. I, I, I don't know. Maybe she'll find the ocean side. Yeah, I was gonna say like, like I don't know, like nothing like of, of sub. I mean, Greg Nicotero's directing next week's episode. Not, some of the best episodes are when he directs them. So yeah, I, true. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. So um, we'll see. We know they're looking for guns for that group, but yeah. uh, we'll see. So all right, guys. Thanks. Peace out. See ya.